personnel to grab them before government trying to protect them. After the search, we were escorted to a holding area. Want you to uh, say your rank and spell your full name. Okay, first lieutenant M A R I T Z A. First name Maritza, last name Anderson. A N D E R S O N. And you are the the Neo O I C or commander? Or? Neo uh, O I C. Neo O I C. And what's your regular job title? Uh, I'm a communications officer by trade. C L B 31. CLB 31, 31st Mew. Got it. And your hometown? Hometown is Chicago, Illinois. Hell yeah. Go Bears. Go Bears. All right. Now, pretty broad on the first one. Let's go with uh, what does this training uh, do for us today? Okay. Uh, this training enables us to work bilaterally, bilaterally with our Asian partners uh, so that we can respond to a humanitarian crisis, uh, any security issues within the area helps us get over the language barrier to properly and safely and efficiently evacuate all uh, personnel from the area to a safe haven. Yes. The question. What are we doing here today, ma'am, and how does it benefit us? Okay, today we're just practicing our procedures for ECC uh, to safely evacuate uh, Japanese, Thai, and American U.S. citizens from, uh, from the area. This kind of training helps us uh, respond to any kind of contingency that may happen in the Asian Pacific region. You can look back when we've used uh, uh, earthquakes and tsunamis and the disasters. These are the forces that respond to those. These are the forces that can get there because one of the biggest uh, concerns we have is time. So they need this type of capability quickly. These are the forces that can respond uh, quickly to, to wherever they're needed. By working with the partner, the Japan and Thailand, Indonesia, and one other nation, uh, 
do you, do you have any protocol or I mean, the, the, the mean to communicate with each other yeah. to get a better understanding? That, that's a great question. And that's really the underlying purpose of these exercises. So that we can work together, develop the, the techniques, tactics, and procedures that, so we can work together. Uh, it, there, there's a lot of challenges. Language, different types of equipment, different types of standard operating procedures, and we're working through all that right now in exercises such as Coca-Cola. Right, this time in Myanmar, I just made them off. Yeah. They, are, they are observing, uh, but not, not participating. How do see that? This time, I got an observer. Yeah, they're one of many that come and observe. It's very, very important because we're going to need participating nations throughout the region be able to deal with the different levels of crises that's going to happen somewhere step in the right direction. Uh, um, demobilize? Uh, mobilize. Um, depending on, again, where the, the, where the forces are needed and where they come from, it can be as quick as hours. Um, more likely uh, days, but they can be in hours. Absolutely. So, uh, this cooperation, this is in the recent of the major DIC, uh, uh, it's a problem only or is there any other station can uh, make it into the situation? Absolutely. I mean, the, the type of crisis can be either man-made or it can be, it can be natural. Uh, the thing is that these forces have the flexibility to address whatever the crisis is. So, 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 there's definitely challenges, and, and as I talked about earlier, when you have forces that haven't worked together before, there's going to be communication issues, there's going to be uh, equipment uh, things that we need to work through, but that's why we can do some projections on work together to be able to perfect so that when it happens for real, we're ready to do it. So definition of crisis, to what extent of the crisis you're going to step in? Depends on, on what, what, where, the, where the crisis is, what, what is absolutely and what is being asked of us yeah. from the host nation mm -hmm. so that we have the capability so when asked, we can respond and that's the key point. Any other questions? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. General.